<laughs> You're in a funny mood today. <laughs> <laughs> Just feeling silly there. Hey, Hi. Hey, what's going on, guys? As usual, another e another week, another EVGA stream, and and something else broken. Just something else. <laughs> just it wouldn't be it wouldn't be right if something else didn't. So break. we're not live on Facebook. Somehow Facebook broke. Mm. Mm. So mm -hmm. there's no Facebook this week. Sorry. So if you're a Facebook a face Facebook faithful and you guys see the stream, just quickly jump onto Twitch and YouTube <laughs> before we get started. We'll wait for you for a couple of seconds. Jacob's looking very red. Well, you are looking very red. Yeah, let's let's just fix that. See, here's the thing. Uh, he asked me to calibrate the the Whoa. colors, <laughs> the colors while he while he went away. But I calibrated it to my face. See, I'm a little bit yellower than he I is. Forgot how red I am. Yeah. So when 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 I when I <laughs> when, I made, when I made myself a little bit more red to counteract my yellow skin tone, I made him more red without even noticing. Yep, that's how it works. Yeah. So the camera seems weird today. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so are you? Did you did you try that Laurel or Yanny thing? Laurel or Yanny thing? Or whatever it is. Is that what it is? All right. Well, we're not gonna go into that anyways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel or Yanny? I don't. I'm not even following. No, you don't, you don't want to know. <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Looks 480p. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, it's 1080. It should be 1080. Yeah. But the reason that it looks this way is because we're all zoomed in. Mmm. Yeah. Still, oh, still making some fine-tuned adjustments to these to these camera well, settings. Well, we really need to move the camera f closer. I closer. Think. Mm. That's really what it comes down to. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Give him too much of a hint there for later. All right. So. Okay. Yeah. So uh, next week we'll move the uh, screen a little closer. But yeah. So uh, I wasn't here last week. So what'd you guys? What'd you end up doing? Um, I had the Fallout guy join me for the stream last week. <laughs> Am I that easily replaceable? Uh, <laughs> yes, I guess. No, um, what did we do last week? Oh, we played <laughs> Fortnite. Fortnite, okay. And we played the new Thanos mode, and I became Thanos, and that was pretty cool. Very and good. And I killed, I, so I made the mistake of saying, because I'm usually so bad at these games, and I'm <laughs> like, you know what? Every kill, I'm going to give out a CLC. Oh. And I ended up getting, like, ten kills. <laughs> So well, you know, to our fans, to our to our gracious fans, I'm sure they appreciated it. Yeah. So ten though. Wow. No Fortnite today. <laughs> um. So, but let's talk about some other stuff. So we do okay. have a giveaway today. We're gonna give away a motherboard, the H370 Stinger. We're gonna give this away to one of you lucky viewers. So the way that you can win is we're gonna have a secret word later on. We'll tell you what the secret word is. You go to our website, which actually I haven't even. I'm way behind today. I haven't even cleared the database thing. This thing is so lightweight. Just look at it. Just look at that. Look how lightweight that is. Look at that. Yeah, Actually, it's, it's empty. Just, it's, it's an empty box. We're going to send when you we an empty box. When we give it to you, though, I promise you there will be at least one thing in there. Possibly a motherboard. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. No guarantees. Uh, this is brand new that we're offering? Uh, yeah, so it just, uh, just started shipping. So it just became available like this week. Um, and actually, like, a, a small part of this kind of, like, became news today, hmm. surprisingly to me, because it's, I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but apparently it is a big deal. Um, so, going forward, we are no longer going to be including DVD or CDs in our motherboards for yep. the drivers. Um, and, you know, most people don't even really use them anyways. Yeah, most I mean, you kind of just throw it away because, you know, you you, you want to get the latest, first of all. Yeah. And also, most people don't even have DVD. I mean, I haven't built a PC with an optical drive in, like, years. I know? have an optical drive in my latest PC build. And it was just one of those things that I thought I would need. And I have to admit, in the maybe two, three years that I've, you know, had that build, yeah. I've barely ever used that optical drive. So going forward, actually, what's going to be included is this. See how small it is? <laughs> is it? Is it smaller? Yes, it is smaller than the box. So you're going to get a box with, <laughs> with that in it. <laughs> the whole box it just comes with this. So basically, what this is is a USB 2.0 flash drive. It's 8 gig. So this has all your drivers on it, um, everything you need, and it's also, you know, it's also usable. So 
like the CD or DVD, right? You just throw it away. I mean, what can you so, use it for? Yeah, I guess so after drink you, coasters. Yeah, after you use this, uh, install your drivers with this, you can actually use it. Yeah. Just, yeah. We're not stopping you. You can use whatever you want on this. You can install uh, AOL on this if you want. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, get, yeah. get an oil little, little disc on there. Yeah, you that's can. very cool. Yeah, so all future motherboards. So no more DVDs or CDs. We're, we're, we're <laughs> saying goodbye. We're putting our foot down. Enough's enough. Enough's enough. <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, every time I get a new piece of hardware... I mean, new is relative because, you know, when it first comes in, you don't know how many versions that DVD is behind. You just go on the website anyway, download the newest one. CDs do make good beer coasters, though. I will say that. So they do kind of have a purpose. But the thing is, like, how many CDs have you accumulated over the years? And really, any CD is good as a beer coaster. It doesn't even have to work. So, you know, find your old AOL discs from, like, 15 years ago and just use those. Could you take all your old AOL discs, stitch them together... And make some kind of homemade scale mail suit of armor with that? Uh, Could you yes, imagine? you can. Could actually. you imagine? Just layer and layer it. If you still had your old, old AOL discs, yeah. for some reason, if you were still keeping them around. Well, that's a fun weekend project. <laughs> <laughs> Just stitching them together. But, uh, I don't know. I just think that we can pro I, I probably have like a... I still have like a lot of my old games with all the DVDs and CDs. Like I kept mm. all the original boxes from like... I think I have like GTA Three and like some of those old games. I have yeah, I have uh you know the the CD binder just filled with old yeah, CDs I and like I, I I clean mine out some I so like I had like scanner drivers for scanners I haven't had for years. So can I like melt those down and make something cool with them? Can you melt CDs? <laughs> it's plastic, right? <laughs> I'm gonna make a sculpture out of it. All right, so anyways, we're going to give away one H370, and you will get this awesome 8 gigabyte USB drive mm -hmm. as well. It's pretty small, though, so just hang on to it. Yeah. But it has a hole. You can like put it on a lanyard or something. Carry your drivers around wherever you go, because you never know when you might need them. Put the C I've heard about that, CDs and microwaves. Mm -hmm. Do not do that, by the way. Um, <laughs> in a few months, I will sell my old EVJ driver DVDs, DVDs on eBay for $500 as a collector's item. You know, you shouldn't laugh at that because in one of our events this week, we've got the Retro Rewind where we offer you new product <laughs> for old product. So who knows? Maybe one of these days we'll ask you for your old driver DVDs and we'll send you Maybe. a new USB in return. Speaking of, so let's just yeah. let's see what we got. Let's jump week. into that. So that's this is the rewind reward. So basically, we're looking for anybody who has this motherboard. If you have this motherboard, then turn it in. And if you had this motherboard we'll and you melted it in, in the microwave, I bet you feel real silly right about now. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to take it. If it's yeah. melted, we won't take it back. So it this should. is this is the SR2. So this was I. This was one of the most exciting projects that I ever worked on. Was this motherboard? Because what made it so exciting? It was just everything about it was brand new. So mm. the so we wanted to create an overclocking dual socket board that supported up to four way SLI. Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there was no at the time there was no form factor. You know you have mm. your standard form factors the yeah. ATX, EATX, and actually XLATX wasn't there, mm. but EATX, MicroATX, obviously all those mm. ones. There was no form factor that could actually support all that. Mm. It was impossible because you had the chipset coolers on there you just didn't have enough room so we're like hmm let's just make a new form factor <laughs> and let's call it HPTX all right i mean so that looks like for a high performance tx there was actually we were floating around a few i think one of them was like we were considering like uh EVTX or mm -hmm. like EVJTX but anyways we set it on HPTX and we created this motherboard which was like I mean, like, I wish I had one here, but it's, like, this big. It looks beefy from the pictures. It's a beefy board. It's huge. <laughs> like, it's, like, the pizza box size. <laughs> it's seriously the size of a pizza box. Um, well, so we, way SLI, huh? So we released this motherboard, and at the time, it was pretty much the one-of-a-kind only board that could do. I mean, first of all, it, it was overclockable. Okay. And at the time... You know, most of the dual socket motherboards, they were like workstation server type motherboards. None mm -hmm. of them had overclocking features there, or at least it wasn't a focus for the product. So for us, you know, we wanted to put everything overclocking first with the dual CPUs on there. It's a little bit mm -hmm. challenging now mm -hmm. if we went, wanted to go back and do like an SR3 today, because now at the time, 
you know, the way that you overclocked was by increasing the frontside bus, right? You didn't have like, you didn't have to worry about CPU multipliers and stuff like that. Now that's kind of gone away. Mm -hmm. And now everything is pretty much overclocked from CPU multipliers. Now the bad part of that is modern day CPUs, all the multipliers on the workstation boards, they're all locked. So overclocking on a dual socket board is kind of gone away. But uh, you know what, I, maybe it'll come back someday. I don't know, that'd be great. So I mean, we have a, qu a couple of questions from our audience here about this. Uh, how many of these were made? <laughs> I don't know, honestly. Okay, <laughs> I have okay. no idea. Uh, I don't remember. It was quite a decent amount, though. What are we doing with all these products? Are we building a museum? <laughs> uh, maybe eventually. You know, we're actually trying to build... So if you look at our room here, <laughs> on the other side of here is we're trying to build like a, a, a studio type of thing for more like YouTube style videos. <laughs> and I think one of the ideas is to have a cabinet with like a bunch of old hardware. So That'd be pretty cool. But the problem is I don't think this can fit in any traditional cabinet <laughs> <laughs> so you said you said that this was one of a kind product and it looks one of a kind has any anyone else built anything similar to this like with mm. this form factor or these kind of features or i think there was after it came out i think there were a couple of boards that also had a similar form factor mm -hmm. um but it certainly was the first one and then we came out with the srx later which was kind of the same idea but it had all locked CPUs, so it wasn't overclockable, and it that kind of that kind of some of the the value was wasn't quite there when it's not overclockable, unfortunately. But so. uh, I don't know if we ever see overclockable CPUs again on a workstation platform. I would love to. And he's he's offering you a motherboard it. right there, a 750i. 750i? That's yeah. how old. Yeah. Well, think about it. Think about it. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so if you have one of these beastly motherboards and you've got it lying around gathering dust and you'd like a new uh, uh, X299 Dark, just send it in and uh, you know, you might you might be able to win. Yep. Not everyone though. Not I think everyone. like the first three or something like that. Believe us the first three. So if you have one and you want to trade it for an X299, now's your chance, maybe. So you could have, so you know, you have the world's first one of these uh, HP TXs, but if yours is just gathering dust, trade in for the world's practically best motherboard, the X299. So that's a bit of a fair trade, I'd say. Especially Yeah. However, the SR2 is... There's something about it, you know, that's like... You don't see that kind of motherboard anymore, you know? Uh, maybe. Faustian choice here. What, what would you rather have? <laughs> yep. But, uh, yeah, it's a... Yeah, there is, there is some... You can still overclock from the base clock a little mm -hmm. bit, but... On, on dual socket motherboards even today but I mean it's it's nothing compared to what you could overclock these two at the time um, so anyways that's the rewind reward so every month we do this type of thing so if you have EVJ old hardware you never know maybe maybe next month could be your product could be yours I don't so know. you know keep all your old DVD drivers <laughs> don't melt them in the microwave because you never you never can tell when we might want that back you never know never know so that is that. Um, in other news, so we talked a little bit about the H370. So the H370 mm -hmm. is the motherboard that we're giving away today. Actually, I have one right here. Oh, you have one not in box form. So <laughs> this is the H370 Stinger. So it's a mini ITX motherboard, very small form factor. This is the new Intel H370 chipset. So it's kind of like one step below the Z370. The biggest difference is that there's no overclocking essentially. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it can still support 8700Ks, all that kind of good stuff. Um, so it's an excellent motherboard for like a mini ITX build, home theater, PC type of build, gaming rig, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, yeah, now available at our store. So it has Wi-Fi built into it, which is cool as well. So it is available at EVG.com, and we will be giving away one... To one lucky viewer today. Like in half an hour. Half an hour? Mm. Set your clocks. <laughs> All right, so that is that. Uh, we also have a game bundle going on. Speaking of motherboards, if you get a Z370 motherboard, you get Final Fantasy. I didn't even, I haven't seen this yet. So then you get Final Fantasy and Vermintide, right? Yep. Both? You get both of them. Wow. Figure you get uh, That's pretty good, some uh, a code for that, activate. Yeah. Uh, and I have both of these games. If only you waited to get a motherboard now, then you could have I them both know. for free. But no, if you haven't, if you are thinking about getting a motherboard, hey, you know what? Two free games can't beat that. Yep. 
what else? We also have the Hot Rod Rumble gaming event. So vroom, if you guys, vroom. huh? Vroom vroom. Yeah, yeah. We're well, just yeah. just kind of okay. giving you some flavor All here. Right, right? Yeah. Yeah. It works. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the Hot Rod, what was I saying? Hot, Hot Rod Rumble Gaming Hot event. Rod Rumble Gaming Event. So we, we have these gaming events pretty mm. frequently, if you aren't familiar. Basically, you just play on our gaming servers, mm. play on our gaming servers, and you can get a chance to win. You don't have to be good. You don't have to be bad. You can just be normal, and you can still win because it doesn't depend how good you are. It depends how often you play in our gaming servers, and the more hours you spend, the better prizes you win. That's how it works. <laughs> Uh, let's see. In other news, so there's been like a ton of game announcements recently. You know, like this, originally I was like, the beginning of this year, I'm like, eh, this year is like kind of so-so for games. There's not, not that much that interests me, at least, this year. I mean, there's a few, but man, like the last three weeks, there has been so many game announcements which that I'm really interested in. Which is weird, because E3's coming up. You figured they'd wait a little bit. Yeah, well, now the trend is to do everything before. Yeah, you know, so. you know that's true, because everyone's trying to beat the rush. Because, you know, once yeah. E3 comes out, everyone's clamoring for attention, so everyone thinks, like, so, they just beat the beat the rush to get in there. But so so we had Rage 2 Rage announced, 2. right, which is pretty exciting. We had, we, next week, mm -hmm. there's going to be a Battlefield reveal. It's Battlefield 5 is what Not it's much called. of a reveal if you already know about it. Well, we don't know what it is. I mean, okay. there's plenty of rumors. There's also mm -hmm. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. That was announced a few weeks ago. And then, just like yesterday, they announced Black Ops 4, <laughs> um, which is obviously the new Call of Duty game. The interesting thing about this one is that there is no single-player campaign anymore. Hmm. Oh, it's just multiplayer? Uh-huh. We do read the comments, but he's on a roll here. I can't interrupt him. My bad. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys even read the comments? Of course we read your YouTube comments as well. It's just he was on a roll. He was doing a pitch, guys. Come on. Let him let him finish. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. How do they do the 360 challenge? Only on Twitch? Oh, we do it on all. We do it on all. We do it on all. <coughs> but uh, apparently Twitch may be a little faster with uh, coming out. So w when we do the 360 challenge, it's uh, whatever. It's unscientific. It's whatever we see in our uh, chat windows here. Whoever gets the correct answer first. Some people think that uh, Twitch goes a little bit faster. I'm not sure. I'm, I can never test it. I'm up here I, doing the show. I don't think it does because it goes out to restream. Well, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Um, somebody asked if they could link the gaming event, so let me try. Um, where's the link? Oh, here it is. So a lot of games recently. I like single player in games, even though it's just something I kind of like. You know, you just do it once, you never do it again, and you get on multiplayer. It depends. You know, I, I certainly have like a lot of single player games, mm -hmm. but there's also a lot of single player games that I don't necessarily like. Mm, that's true. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's the multiplayer is the most has always been the most popular part of Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're focusing on that. But the more interesting part. For me, at least, is that they're adding a mode called Blackout. Okay. And can you guess what it is? Is it a Battle Royale? Oh, wow. You're wow. Wow. And I just guessed. <laughs> but, I, mean, uh, we, I mean, we all kind of saw that coming. Yeah. I would be shocked if Battlefield didn't have a similar type of Battle Royale. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm actually kind of looking forward to because... Mm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say, oh, there's so many Battle Royale games, but really there's only two, <laughs> you know, if you think about it. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they're both very different from each other. I mean, Fortnite mm -hmm. is, is nothing like PUBG, mm -hmm. and the shooting mechanics in PUBG, for me, is not quite what my ideal first-person shooter experience is, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know how to say it. I mean, the, I like the game, and it's fun, but... I prefer, in terms of shooting mechanics, the Quakes, the Call of Duties, the Battlefields. So I actually am looking forward to that. I think it could be pretty good. Okay. Well, Call of Duty, very popular shooter, obviously, and a very popular game mode as well. And somebody mm -hmm. said, speaking of Battle Royale, Rip Radical Heights. So that was actually kind of sad. So That was sad. So um, Boss Key Games, who made um, Radical well, Heights and Law also Breakers. Lawbreakers... Um, they are pretty much no more. Um, they are definitely which, no more. <laughs> which is kind of sad. I was actually, I actually saw some Radical Heights. I mean, it was really early and very unfinished. not finished. Very but unfinished. It 
you know, it actually had like more. If you actually play, if you played it, I mean, yeah, it was third person. But once you moved to first person, it was very. The shooting mechanics were very good, very precise, kind of like more like Call of Duty, like what I'm saying, you know. And for me, I I much prefer that with. I don't know, PUBG and Fortnite, I, don't, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it it doesn't have that type of feel to me. I can <laughs> I don't, say... I don't know what it is. I can say, based on my experience with um, Radical Heights, that it has one huge draw over the other two more famous uh, Battle Royale games. And, is that, and that's in the beginning, when you start off, your character just flies from the sky and drops straight to the ground without a parachute. I love that. <laughs> I could watch that all day. I wish it'd be ragdoll physics when they hit the ground, but unfortunately, that'll never be implemented because it's 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 over with. But it was fun while it lasted. So I don't know. They said that the servers will remain up on mm. Radical Heights for a little bit longer, but I would imagine mm. that there's not going to be any more work on that done mm. on that game. But yeah. who knows? Maybe another studio or publisher might pick it up and take it from there. I don't know. If Duke mm. Nukem Forever could get finished, then anything can get finished. By right? another publisher. Even. <laughs> yeah. You never know these days. Did anyone win last week's giveaway? Yeah, we had ten giveaways last week. Jeez. <laughs> uh, so that's Call of Duty, Black Ops 5. So there's Hey, does he move with your mouse? Yeah, that's pretty wow. cool. Then, that's fun. And there's a lot of other rumors that are flying around. Like there, there's. I mean, these are all just <laughs> rumors flying around. So there's supposedly a new... Maybe Mortal Kombat game mm. announced at E3, which mm. I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan, so we'll see in that. And obviously we have the Battlefield mm. 5 stuff next mm. week too, so I don't know. I went from a little bit down this year on the games releases to like, wow, this year's kind of cool. I mean, a lot mm. of them aren't going to be releasing this year, but Call of Duty is. I would assume Battlefield would as well. But Very good. Black Ops 4, not 5, my bad. Mortal Wombat. Hmm. Um, so Mortal, that's that. Mortal Wombat. We have, uh, there's a couple of really good deals going on at eBay. So this is actually the official EVGA store. So when you say EVGA underscore official, that means that it's actually EVGA. So we did, we did create an EVGA store not too long ago. And we put a lot of products up there, put them in stock. So we have two uh, pretty good deals on power supplies. So this is a 1600 T2 for $399. That's like $130 off. And then we also have a 1600 G2 for $299. Um, again, $130 off. So good, good deals. Good deals. Yeah. Good deals. So that's that. And then last but not least, Newegg has a deal for 750 GQ, 69.99 after $20 mail-in rebate. There's a lot of good deals on power supplies recently, hmm. on EVJ power supplies. If you need an EVJ power supply, now is the time. Jacob, you called my name last week. I haven't heard back. I understand if you're busy. Mm, I mean, if you if you're a prize winner, you should have gotten an email. So I would definitely make sure to check your emails because check I can't confirm all those went out. Yeah, check your spam filters, all that. You know, it's standard <coughs> stuff. Um, okay, so that is everything, I guess. So now mm. is it time for the 360 challenge? 360 challenge. All right, all right. So uh, this one's kind of weird. This is a little weird. Okay, so. <laughs> We were, we're kind of getting some flack for when it's a small item and it's just people can't tell what it is, right? So we're trying something new this week. The item is much bigger. Okay, but because it's bigger, I'm going to expect you fans out there to... Whoever can write out what the item says... This is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. This is <laughs> probably going to be the worst one yet. <laughs> Uh, real quick, uh, the guy said he replied to the email, so I'll follow up to make sure. If you reply to the email, then you should be good. Uh, but I'll, I'll make sure that uh, that those are all taken care of. Um, so, anyways, yeah. the 360 challenge. Yeah. Look around the room. Yeah. There's something new in the room this something week. Something new in the room. It has to be a very specific item, yes. and you need to very specifically call out the product name. Yes, there is a phrase that you guys what you'll see it, you'll know it when you see it this one's kind of obvious but as a result you guys have to write out this is going to go so badly oh, <laughs> this all right, is going to be a mess <laughs> all right let's give this a try all right here we go <laughs> oh man oh god 
Okay, wait. Okay, this is this is a mess. As we can already, already, already. Get, Our camera turned on. Already a test too. All right. Should we should we try this again? Just try it again. Just try it again. Uh, while while Jacob is finagling with that, uh, the prize this week is a CLC. Uh, what 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 size? So the the th it was a blank screen was the answer. No, that no. wasn't that wasn't it. Um, let's see if we can. Bring it back to life. Mm. This this camera's been acting funny lately. It's been finicky, like ever since ever since I dropped it that one time. So I told you guys a story a few mm. weeks ago how it fell on the floor and it like split in half and all of its innards were just strewn about. And ever since then, I can't imagine why it wouldn't work after that. I managed to like st stuff all the innards back in and it kind of worked, but you know it just hasn't been the same to say the least mm. since then. Mm. 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 So let's see if we can revive it. Give it CPR. <laughs> he's uh he's giving it the old college try. It's it's coming back, kind of. Nobody blames the camera for not working right. We're blaming the camera for not working go. hard enough. Okay, I think I think we got it. You ready? All right, here we go. So once again, something new in the room. This is for a CLC. Wait, first, hold on. First one to write out the phrase on this item wins the prize. <laughs> this is going to go so badly. Okay, we got it. You ready? Okay, okay, okay here we go. Here we go. That's really small. Is that really small? <laughs> I don't know. It okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to go my I way. I think they, somebody can get it. Yeah. Right, let's see what I we think got somebody here. can get it. Okay. Whoa. Uh, G4, mm. you have to be more specific. Oh, I thought there is. Uh, Stucaro, I think it was. Yeah, Stucaro. that's it. Yep. There you go, Stucaro. G-Force FX. G-Force FX. That was the phrase we were looking for. So, I don't know, even know where we got this thing from. <laughs> but, G-Force mm. FX. Look at that green. <laughs> Stucaro. Oh. That's neat. It, like, like, fades behind. <laughs> So congratulations, mm. you have won an EVGA CLC CLC 280. A 280. 280. So, I think GeForce that was GTX. One. No, no, you should, you can tell by the logo it's a little bit older. I, I need to fix this. <laughs> so either we need to move this camera closer or we need to like fix the 4K-ish thing. Either or. Either All right. Or. Well, anyways, so now it is time to talk about how you can win the motherboard. Mm. The motherboard, which will be the the H370 motherboard. Here it is in box form. That is the box for it. Yes. So, um, what's the secret word? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Almost think it should be GeForce FX. <laughs> uh, no, what is the secret word? Um, should the secret word be radical? For radical heights, because we're never going to we play did that. that before. I think we did do that. Before. <laughs> oh man! So this is how you can tell this is live. <laughs> yeah. Um, um. How about H three seventy? H three seventy. That's good. I'll go with that there because go. I can't think of anything else. The okay. secret word is H three seventy. So to win, go to evj.com forward slash live giveaway. Secret word equals H three seventy. By the way, I fixed the mixer chat. Oh, good, good. But I don't think YouTube chat's working. I put the chat in there, but I don't think it went through to YouTube. Uh, okay, so anyways, while you guys are doing that, so I got a new game that just came out this week, and I was like, it looked kind of interesting, so I'm like, eh, maybe we'll try this. And it said it supported HDR, so I'm like, okay, that's kind of cool. It is cool. <laughs> but I, but to, I, I, I'm not quite sure if it actually does or not. Um, anyways, this game is called... What's this game called? Uh, Far Loan Sale? Yeah, this, this game is called Far Loan Sales. Sales. So... What, what kind of game is this? Uh, I don't know. Oh, very good. <laughs> <laughs> so basically it's at max settings, 4K. So I played it a little bit, but we'll mm. just start a new one because mm. I'm not very far at all. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like, did you ever play... Um, did you play, was it called Inside? No. What was the one before Inside? Limbo. Did you ever play say, Limbo? No, never played that. Okay. 
So Limbo and Inside are both like platforming, kind of platforming side-scrolling games. This kind of reminds me of that in a way. All right. That it's like, I don't even know what I am. Like, what is that? It's very artsy. Uh, looks like a uh, origami paper. I don't. I don't even know. So it's kind of one of those games which it doesn't really tell you. In Limbo and Inside were both that way, hmm. where they didn't really tell you much of what's going on. You know, it's. Yeah, it's kind of very story driven. So basically, I'm, I start here. This this is like a mailbox or something. I don't know. So you can pick up stuff, you can jump, and you can press buttons with your head, like that. So you realize you've just described Super Mario Brothers, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's like oh. a depressing Super Mario Brothers. So you can zoom in and out too. Okay, very good. Very so good. wait, wait, what is he? Is it? Is he wearing a poncho or what? He is wearing. It's a hat. It's a hat and a poncho. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, what was that? I didn't even see. It's this another thing. mailbox. There's a little baby carriage under the stairs. Huh. Oh yes. I didn't notice any of this stuff. All right, so then uh, basically you just keep going hmm. here. So, uh, yes, evj.com slash live giveaway. Man. Yes, evj.com slash live giveaway. Secret yeah. word is H370. If the uh, if the link in the chat doesn't work, you know, our apologies. We we don't know why it doesn't go in sometimes. Did it not work? It worked uh, on Mixer. Look, yeah, it looks like a YouTube is complaining that it didn't go in through there. I mean, you know, just, just type it in manually. Yeah, just <laughs> evj.com forward slash live giveaway. I don't know why our giveaway. restream chat doesn't work with YouTube mm -hmm. or something. So, in a post-apocalyptic world, you are the only creature with color. I, I guess so, huh? Seems like it. <laughs> yes, this game does try to be very artsy. Looks like uh, someone saw that one scene from Schindler's List and thought, Hey, that's a good idea. I'll make a whole game like that. But I think there's other things that have cards. At least, or color, color, I mean. So then, <laughs> you get to this machine thingy. Oh, okay then. Looks, uh... So you have like an elevator you can go up and down. <laughs> Could you imagine if that's how all elevators work? You had to jump and hit your head on the ceiling to make them don't go. They? So um, anyways, you have to find these things. I don't know what it says on it. And the secret word was H370. Yep. Do caps matter? N uh, no, it does not. But caps it needs to be one word. But it needs to be one word. One word, no cap. Or caps don't matter. So this thing can like... So basically this is like your fuel, these little things. Okay, those little boxes that say fuel on them, or yeah, whatever they say. So you have to collect those things to keep your truck or whatever this. What is this thing? I don't even know. It is a blimp that's on the ground. With the big wheel. With the big wheel. Someone says, "What game is this? It's like out of this world on dystopian drugs." Uh, have you ever played Out of This World? Uh -huh. uh, it's more like uh, Prince of Persia. So okay. I wouldn't call I it. No, the old Prince of Persia. I played several of them. I don't know which one we got. So that's my energy in there. So as I get these little gas canister thingies, I get more energy. This game is called Far Lone Sails. So I guess the objective is just to go to the right as far as you can. Pretty much. Keep going. Hey, not all games need to be complicated. <laughs> there is like some puzzle elements as well. I figure the puzzles will be um, hit your head on buttons. Get like you know when your gas runs. Out. Now, will your gas always like run out at predetermined locations? Like you know, they, they'll the 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 canisters that they give you, they only give you so much because they want you to stop at the exact same points or you don't know enough yet. Well, the part that I've yeah, see, like, like, you're about to run out of gas here, and it stops you right by well, the... I stopped it. Oh, okay. So this button up here stops it. Okay, okay. It's like a break. So, there is parts where other elements stop you. Hmm, hmm. I haven't figured out if you can... You can't seem to pick up more than one at a time, it seems like. Can you try to pick up that one on the bottom and see if both of them go up, or will it just yank it out from my... <laughs> so, I need more energies. <laughs> All right, there all we right. go, just push them along. That's innovative. There we go. See? This is how they built the pyramids. Is that really how they did it? 
So I heard. Oh, okay. Alright, keep going. I haven't quite figured out what this button over here does, though. Hmm. You press Look. it and this thing spins. Oh, you know what? That looks like a tow cable. So if you probably need to pull something out from the ground, like you hook up a tow cable to that and it just winch it back in. So when that thing starts flashing, I don't know what happens if you let it get too hot or whatever, but when probably, it starts flashing. Probably overheat and blow the awesome. engine. Yeah. I'm stuck. We are playing far loan sales. This is actually kind of interesting. Now, see, not all games need to just be, you know, shoot, shoot, kill. I mean, sometimes it's fun to just play a relaxing, sort of turn off your brain, solve some puzzles sort of game. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. 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 Although, yeah, you are getting some really bad MPG, as was stated, because, <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, wait, I missed my... You missed your stuff. Okay, now here's a, here's a good thing. Can you go back? Yes, you can go out the back door. Yeah. There you go. There's two doors. I'm just going <laughs> to throw these in here. Meters per gallon. See, you, you'd probably get a lot better MPG if you drove a much smaller vehicle. Probably. Cause I mean, he's he's such a small guy. Why yeah, there's, he, there's no reason why to. Why does he need such a large vehicle? Yeah. So let's put these back into there. Oops. And we keep going. Yeah, but uh, also your speed on this isn't great. It almost makes you wonder if you like wouldn't go faster if you just went out and walked. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you can also hook these things up here. Oh, that's cool. I'm not sure why you need to. So you don't have to keep doing what you're doing where you have to like you know go back and forth down the elevator. Secret word is H370, and we are giving away today this H370 motherboard. Not this. This is an empty box. But the this motherboard, one. the motherboard is inside. But not this one. But you know what? <laughs> the I, one that looks exactly like. I it. like to believe that this was all planned, even though it probably wasn't because we don't find anything here. Uh, this small form-factored motherboard is very similar to this small little red thing that's uh, powering this big truck so this small motherboard could power yeah. your gaming system yeah but Think it's a lot more power efficient than this thing yeah this thing is terribly inefficient but this thing is great it's very efficient yeah, the h370 <laughs> all right see look i turned turned that into an ad opportunity so there we go hmm. so eventually something happens right I mean, I know I was saying earlier that, you know, sometimes you just want to play a simple game where you just turn off your brain and, like, solve puzzles, but, you know, something will happen eventually, right? I think so. Okay, then. Whoops. Did, did, you, did you blow something up? Did you? Looks like you're just struggling to make it over the hill, just like my old car. <laughs> <laughs> Uphill miles per gallon is yeah. even worse. Yeah. Yeah, just like my old car, when you like, we try to go uphill. So what we'll happens if I let that thing overheat? I'm kind of curious to try it. All right, let's 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 do the grand experiment here. I figure you have to go and get some water to pour into it. Something sizzling. It goes faster once you do that. Uh, Theodrim, thank you for pointing that out. I'll let our team know when I uh, when we're finished here today. Now we're moving. There you go, because you're going downhill. There you go. Yeah, so you're right. There is. That's kind of cool. There is a difference between your uphill speed and uh, you know just kind of regular speed. Oops. You might want to hit stop. You're gonna pass some gas. We got a lot. Hmm. You always use more. I don't break. Oh. <laughs> no, no brakes on this train. <laughs> what is the name for this game? This is Far Lo Loan Sales. Yeah. Wait. Loan Sales. Loan Sales. Wait. Yeah, there it is. Loan Sales. Full steam ahead. This guy's on a hot rod rumble. I wonder if you can deck out this thing later on, like you know, put a put a spoiler on it. Yeah, it needs a spoiler. It needs some spoilers. It needs uh, to drop the drop the back, have it hop a little. <laughs> Hydraulics. Yes. Okay, this is probably something you can investigate. It looks like they're okay. You're just gonna go right by. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, never mind. Game says you gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I already know what to do on this part because I was okay. here already. All right then. Oops. That's not what you're supposed to do. Spoilers for anyone who wants to know so how to solve this puzzle. Basically, you need to go back up here. Oh, this. I don't know what this thing is, but this is like gas also. Oh, okay. It's like a globe. Oh, it's like that uh, episode of Futurama where they figure out alternate fuel sources. So that's like Nibbler's uh, special fuel. In case anyone watch uh, Futurama. And you go here. And here's where your spoiler comes in. Eh. Turn off the engine. I don't. Can you turn off the engine? Oh, whoops. That didn't go down where I was supposed to. So, my car thing looks like it's smoking like on fire. Well, I mean, you didn't vent the steam. Oh, okay, okay. So, it looks like uh, you, you're stealing a flight of sails here. Well, it's not like you're stealing it. I mean, you didn't want to stop here. The game made you. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. Those big holes in the sails can't be very <laughs> yeah. efficient for. Okay, that thing's on fire, so now, basically, you have this... Oh, the, the Maybe hose. I'm a firefighter. Oh. So, now, did that thing set on fire because you let the steam build up, or...? I have no idea. The game decided it wanted to be on fire. Oh, this is a hot new title. So evga.com slash live giveaway, the uh, secret word is H370. Those are yep. massive birds. They're bigger than me. Oh, speed bumps on the beach. <laughs> that makes sense. Someone says to use your magic orco. That does kind of look like orco. From He-Man. Nerd bro. So... It's kind of broken still, because I think it's like it sparks. So, can you interact with anything in the background, or is it only the things like in your immediate plane? So far, I haven't really seen much that you can interact with in the background. The word is H370. You know, people in uh, in the UK they say H. H. All right, so let's get another obstacle. And Jacob's car is now smoldering, as we all would expect. It's on fire again. It has a very poor fire effect. Yeah, now, now I'm noticing the sparks are on two elements. It's on your uh, button and on your uh, hoist for your fuel. They maybe you do have to fix that. Downstairs we go. What is that? Is that? It's like a can or a ball. Maybe. Oh, there's like a bell down there or something. What's this thing? Oh yeah, so it's a bell and the and the oh you know it's a bell and the chime for the bell. What does it do? Hmm. It's a big propeller just down there. Well, it's propelling something. And I think you're. Uh, uh, where are you going? Now. Wait, come back here. If the vehicle leaves without you, is that game over? <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> As you ghost ride the car. Whoa. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, great. This doesn't look too good. <laughs> we might have a situation here. Wait. Okay. Looks like the the game knows to, to stop when it realizes there's no driver. It has fancy electronics. Mm. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this bell. Can I just put it in here? I'm guessing... Oh, you know what? Try in the top right corner of the ship, probably 
hook up the bell over there? Whoa. Or you just use it as fuel, did you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, it worked. I was gonna say, maybe it's like, you know, like a bicycle. You know, you go ding 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 ding. Oh. Uh, but uh, no. Oh, I should have put it up there, huh? You use it as fuel, so now we're, we're past that. No, it's, it's gone. <laughs> Oh, I hit the brakes, my bad. Oh, so our brakes. This one's the brake up here. Mm. EVJ.com forward slash live giveaway. The secret word is H370. Hey, I didn't even notice that thing that's counting up there. Is that like my miles? Uh, yeah, it looks like that could be it. So it only has 1,700 miles? It's already like falling apart? Well, maybe that's why it's falling apart because you, the previous owner didn't take very good care of it. And the current mm -hmm. owner, the current owner, isn't really taking care of it either. Based Doesn't on have a warranty. Sparks and the <laughs> fire everywhere. Oh, I forgot to put my sails up. <laughs> Powered by wind. Oh, that's a very epic shot you got going on there. Whoa. How come there's no sound? Oh, well, because you're in a desolate area. It's supposed to kind of set the mood. Another crash. You know, maybe you're not supposed to crash into everything. <laughs> maybe I'm supposed to use the brakes. Yeah, maybe. And everything's on fire. Wait, wasn't there more than one thing on fire? Uh, yeah, I think you gave it a spritz. So that one, and that one. He might be able to run faster than that thing. So it's going to auto collapse, that's cool. Yeah, so you know, this, this game is pretty interesting. I actually kind of like this. Oh, okay, and use the fuel as well as for other puzzles, so you might not, uh... Use the force. Mm -hmm. Wait, how do I get out of here? Jump, jump. So, uh, are you gonna try to jump that gorge? With your, uh, four mile an hour train there? Ah, very good. How do I get down? Ah, look at that. They also got your <laughs> fall damage taken care of with your poncho. How come I can't get that motorcycle right there? That thing looks like it'd go faster at least. Maybe because it doesn't run on magic fuel. Oh, I can put those up there too. Oh, I could have put the bell up there. Oh well. <laughs> Wow, oh, yeah, those um, those barrels give you a full tank. EVGA.com/slash/live giveaway. The secret word is H370. H370. Oh, my sales. And your Steam. And this game's on Steam. This game's on Steam. You can get it now. And it has Steam. Powered by Steam. I wouldn't say this game is a crude version of Mad Max. I'd say it's more like an artsy version of Mad Max without any other characters. You ever watch Mad Max? Yep. New one? Okay. Oh, any anyway, Mad Max, Mad Max 2, Mad Max 3 with Whitney I've Houston. Seen, I've seen the original one a long time ago. I've seen the new one, obviously. Yeah, new one's good. It's like a cute version of Mad Max. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Whoa! Brakes! So how do you fix stuff? Like, you know, you got those sparking uh, components there. Uh, not- I can't fix it yet. Okay, fair enough. When does this thing ever break 
Oh, it looks like it's breaking down now. <clears throat> Wait a second, I got an idea. Do you think the steam, like, propels your ship forward? There's a chair over here. Can I use this as fuel? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't need this. Give it a shot. Let's see if, let's see if that'll go. Uh, your chair is fuel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. <laughs> so, can I use myself? Oh, man. Try it. Okay, here we go. Oh, man, here we go. <laughs> oh, no, no. Rejected. <laughs> Denied. How come I can't use myself? Mm. Nope. That's a definite yeah. no. So there's like a hourglass thing hanging up there too. Can I use that? <laughs> You're just gonna take all oh, this stuff. Oh, that's my light. You're gonna take all this stuff in your, uh, in your train here and just use it. Uh, EVGA.com slash live giveaway. The secret word is H370. You might want to put down your sails. I feel like the sails would be slowing you down here. I mean, I don't know if that's how this works, but... Wait, how do I do it? Though? How do you, how did you put them up? Oh, never mind. Just going on their own. Oh, no, you know, you press that button on top of that button. Okay, so I think you missed, like, two opportunities to pick up fuel. So now it looks like you're about to run out. Okay, well, we got this. Okay, you got the, got the lamp lantern. You got the lantern there. Now I have no light. I'm sacrificing everything. What are those little things up there? I didn't notice that. You see those, like, those next to the, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. Thing? Huh. Somehow they're still lighting me. You know, for all I know, that's like, like your speed for going straight, for going in a corner, and going straight vertical. Somebody said it died on Twitch. It died on Twitch? Huh. Hmm. Oh. Uh. I guess uh, just restart it. Well, hopefully everyone entered already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're almost over, so we can end it here. Okay. <clears throat> Plus, I'm all out of gas, anyways. Uh, well, I mean, you are like on top of two gas, two gas canisters. I could restart the stream, but for like five minutes. I think Mixer and YouTube still show online. Alright, we're gonna do this is the, the final hurrah. Alright, here we go. So your last chance if you're still watching us, if you're on Twitch, sorry, here let me put let me post in the chat here. Okay. I'll just move around here. Very easy to play game, just kind of let the thing move forward. Uh, Pressing the speed button until the speed goes up. I oh, know. <laughs> Lightning is struck. Now what did you do? Yeah. 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 Come on, get up there. Oh, come on. I'm gonna post in chat too since our last mm -hmm. chance to enter. www. There we go. Walk forward. Alright. Secret. H370. Last chance to enter. If you're still watching us. Sorry about Twitch. Sorry about Twitch. <laughs> it shows offline in my restream.
first time watching YouTube stream. You can also watch on Mixer. So, is, so is our truck dead now? No, it's still kind of going. I'll put some fuel here. Let me try this refueling mechanic. It seems like our truck's getting progressively worse, though. It really does. I will say, like. I think this game is interesting. I, I kind of like what it's going for here, but at the same time, geez, it takes forever to do anything. <laughs> like, how long have we been playing? Like 30 minutes, and nothing has really happened. Well, you're you almost destroyed mm. your ship, at least. Mm. Yes, we we always have that to look forward to. What would you do if you were out in this, like, vast wasteland and all you had was this rickety ship? I probably wouldn't even take the ship. Alright, so let's see what happens if you don't, if you don't relieve the steam stuff. Alright. It would be our last great experiment here <laughs> before we call it for the, for the day. Get this. It's making weird noises. Let's get this thing into the red, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just oh, it just auto vents itself. So. Oh. That was that was uh. That was uneventful. I yeah. wanted it to blow up. That was anticlimactic. All right, looks like we're gonna hit our next kind of stopping point here. Hit your steam. No, there's no point. But it gives you more power when you do it. Oh, really? Yeah. There's a, another another puzzle point here. Crashed. All right. All right. So I think we'll end it here. You can keep playing, but we'll pick the winner. No, no, it's okay. We we got. We're all winners here. So. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so, Far Lone Sales. So that was Far Lone Sales. It came out like yesterday or something. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. You know, uh, too 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 early really to give it a honest judgment. We have to see more of what it has to offer. But, uh, yeah, it might have cool. more complicated puzzles or something. I don't yeah, know. Maybe I'm not really sure how long this game is either. May have more stuff would happen. But uh, yeah, maybe you guys can give this game a try. Get a little further than we did. Try to blow the thing up like we've been trying to blow it up. <laughs> it just can, won't blow up. No matter how hard we try, we can't blow it up. It just won't blow up. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Somebody you, is still in the Twitch chat. He said winter time. <laughs> yeah, so, see, the, the the Twitch faithful, they know. Yeah. Yes. I can still see the Twitch chat. Mm. Twitch does have a lower bit rate than YouTube. Mm. Also, Mixer has a higher bit rate. So Mixer and YouTube have the same bit rate, which mm. is like 10,000. And Twitch does lower the bit rate. We have to enable encoding on the. Anyways. It also seems that uh, the, topic here. the thing will never catch fire. All right, you ready? I'm ready. So All right, this is for an EVJ H370. Promise you that yours will be in an actual box. And you will also get the very first. Never again to have. We should put. No DVDs ever again. No more DVDs. Where? Going? You'll get both, but just don't put it in. A, it's this is one of those ones that can go upside down, you know, on accident. So keep that. In mind. Yeah. It's really small, man. It gets smaller and smaller. All right, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Hey, you can't put it upside down. Okay, be careful count about that. Two, three. Okay. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Who's the lucky winner? Twitch user. Even though Twitch is down, we still have a Twitch winner. <laughs> Game Master. And a bunch of numbers. And a bunch of ones. Game so, Master 11111. The man who has mastered all the games, you can now also master this lovely H370 motherboard. Well, not this particular one, but... Uh, one that just looks exactly like it. Yes, in a, in a box and everything. So, yep. So thanks everyone lucky. for tuning in again. We didn't even use our other camera today, our corner cam. Let's turn on the corner cam real quick. Yep. That's the ideal shot. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> you can see how messy our desk mm -hmm. is. Yeah. 
By the way, this is our new, uh, we got a new mic. Oh, ah, yeah, the, uh, the blue Yeti, except now it's, uh, black Yeti. The other Yeti, it, <laughs> it had some issues. <laughs> but, uh, we got a new one, and it's all good. So, congratulations <laughs> to the winner. And we'll see you guys again next week. Yep. Same time. I think this, is this thing catching more on fire? Yes. There we go. Whoa, now whoa, now whoa. it blew up. Oh, we, we, got, we got happenings. We got happenings. We blew it up. We blew this thing up. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Uh, you can blow it up. Yes. All you have to do is AFK for a while. I was like, what's going on? Hmm. So right there. That's a great right there, buddy. That's a great we did it. to our live stream. Uh, so now what happens? So does that count as a kill? Do you have to give away CLC? <laughs> Not if you kill yourself. <laughs> All right. So anyways, we'll uh, thanks send for joining. You, yeah, thanks for joining us this send weekend. You, send you, see you. And we'll to thank uh, congratulations to all the winners. And uh, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye bye. Thank you.